guys, welcome back to my channel. I've never done a tag video before, which is exciting that I'm doing this now. What inspired me is uh, Johanna from How Sunset Death, Her Precious Life. She did the TMI tag and she tagged everyone who was watching the video and also everyone who did the sunflower giveaway tag videos and I participated in that. So if you want to see that video, then of course you're welcome to check it out. I also just wanted to say if you want to check out her video, then of course that's going to be in the cards as well. So let's just get started. Like there's some of these questions I don't know what it means, so you just have to bear with me. So the first question is what are you wearing? And I'm wearing this shirt I got from my mom for my birthday and it's a Harry Potter shirt and it says I'm the type of girl who is perfectly happy with coffee and Harry Potter. It's super cute and under that I'm wearing a Slipknot shirt because yeah, I really like Slipknot. Ugh. Yeah, basically, and then I'm also wearing these super cute, super hipster socks and tights. So this is like my chill outfit. Second question is, have I ever been in love? And yes, I have. Third question is, have I ever had a terrible breakup? And yes, I have. How tall am I? Um, I think I am 165. So how much do you weigh? I actually don't know, and I don't even remember the last time I weighed myself, but... I think it's about like 55 kilos. Any tattoos? So I have two tattoos. The first one is this one that I got recently and it's basically one I've drawn myself and it's a girl that kind of hugs around and she's holding a key in one hand and fourth floor in one and then her feet are disappearing into these locks. So yeah, it doesn't really have any meaning. And then I have this tattoo on my side. You can add it's just Chinese signs and a Chinese saying. Next one is do I have any piercings? And I have my labret piercing, then I have these piercings, so that's one, two, three. And then I have this right here, which is a rook, I think, piercing. And then I have this one right here. And then I have also two other piercings. OTP, I have no idea what OTP stands for. So if you comment below and tell me what it is, then I'll also answer that in the comments. Uh, favorite show? My favorite show of all time is actually Glee because it's just such a nostalgic factor. I've been, I think I watched the whole series like five, six times or something, and it's also a thing that I have had with my mom. But my second favorite is probably that 70s show because it's great. My favorite bands of all time probably include Sum 41, um, Slipknot, but like I am usually the type of person who likes many small like things. Like I like artists, like my favorite artist is Banks by all time, I love her. And Ricky Lee, which I also just love. Something I miss. Actually, I miss like my old best friend that like moved to Holland a while ago. I guess I miss her. Yeah, like she's probably the person or the thing that I miss the most right now. Question number 12 is favorite song. I'm going to say Pieces by Sum 41. Also, band! I remember one more band. Bring Me The Horizon. I cannot like fathom why I didn't say that. I love Bring Me The Horizon. I also like their song, Blessed With A Curse. I like that song. But they're all like both pretty depressing. There's a song by Radiohead that I really, really enjoy, except for Cre Creep. Um, I think I like, I think the song's called You? Thinking Of You. Is that what it's called? I can't believe it's like one of my favorite songs and I can't, I don't know what it's called. I think it's thinking of you. Question number 13, how old am I? I'm 18 years old. And question number 14, my zodiac sign is Capricorn. Question number 15, qualities I look for in a partner. I like someone who uh, likes to discuss things and is very open-minded. I also like someone who can take care of themselves and is very self-sufficient and someone who's like a problem solver and likes to kind of come out see the solution instead of the actual problem. Question number 16 is favorite quote and I don't have a favorite quote. Yeah, I'm not really into quotes. I don't know. There's just like so many great things out there like how can I choose a favorite one? That's just like what? Favorite actor? I don't not like a movie person, but I'm going to have to say Natalie Portman. I just think she's so good in like Leon and like Star Wars and stuff. I just, I love her. Favorite color? So I basically have liked every single color in the color spectrum at some point. But right now I'm gonna have to say pink. Uh, question number 19, loud or soft music? I'm gonna go with loud. Uh, question 20, where do you go when you're sad? 
I don't go anywhere when I'm sad. Like, it just kind of depends on where I am. And if I am out, then I'll probably go home. Question number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Like, if I'm just gonna shower and wash my hair, it takes me like four minutes. I really don't like showering. I absolutely hate it, so four minutes. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, I get in the morning, but I don't really get ready. So, I don't know, I don't really spend time on my looks if I'm not gonna like do something special. But if I like have to wake up and I have to eat and then like I'm going to school and stuff, then I would probably wake up like one and a half hour before school starts. Uh, have you ever been in a physical fight? And no, I haven't. I have punched someone, but this person did not punch me back, which means that I wouldn't consider it a physical fight. Question 24 and 25 is turn off and turn on. I don't really have an answer for this. It completely depends on the person and what fits their personality or like, I guess, close-mindedness if you're racist. Something I'm not very into, I wouldn't call it a turn off, but like if you are very into like political stuff and talk a lot about politics, I'd consider that a turn off. Turn on, I'd consider it opposite, like someone who's very passionate and likes to speak about whatever they're passionate about, unless that thing is politics. 26, the reason I joined YouTube and I want to have an outlet for me to do things that make happy and discover things that would make me happy, so try out new things and that kind of thing, and that's why I started YouTube. 27, fears. So I'm gonna go with the physical fears because those are a little bit easier to understand. I am really, really scared of space, like to the point where like, I can't think about space for too long, or like the universe, or like, I can't watch space movies, but I like to read about them, especially if they're like a little bit comical, then I'd love to read about it, but I can't watch like a film about space, like, I get so creeped out, like, I'm, I'm getting the shivers right now. I'm also really scared of dinosaurs, like, super, super scared. Super scared of the sea and sea animals because it's always like it's so infinite and so unknown. So those kind of things kind of scare me. Uh, 28. Last thing that made me cry. Uh, I guess it's a little bit personal, but Johanna, who did the TMI tag, she recently commented on one of my uh, videos, actually uh, my self harm story video. You can watch that in the cards. And I cried from her comment. 29. Last time I said I loved someone was probably a couple of days ago to my mom, boringly enough. Question 30. The meaning behind my YouTube name. Um, it doesn't really mean anything. I a life groofer. It's kind of like something I want to be. Like I want to be a person who looks at life like an outlet to goof around and just have fun. And that's kind of... It's a persona for who I want to be, I guess. Um, the last book I read or finished uh, was The Sea of Monsters. Um, the second book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. I actually finished this book this morning. And the book that I am currently reading is The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, which is the second book in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Love this book, highly recommend it. Everyone should read this book, it's absolutely amazing. Question number 33 is last series that I watched. And I don't watch a lot of series, but I'm gonna have to go with the Norwegian show Scum. And before that, I think I watched Twin Peaks. And I watched both of those shows with my mom. The last person I talked to was my mom like an hour ago. Um, yeah, I'm a very like mommy's girl, so I hang out with my mom a lot. And then it is the relationship between you and the last person you texted. And boringly enough, that's my mom too. My favorite food is these Norwegian noodles, noodles that are called Mr. Lee noodles in the taste of beef. They're just so good and especially if you have like grilled marinated chicken wings on the side. I'm a vegetarian but like theoretically speaking this is like my favorite food ever. Probably since I've been like a little kid. I absolutely love it. Place I want to visit. I've already been to Peru but I think I want to go there again. Yeah I'm just really curious to go there again, I think, because I loved it so much last time and I really miss it, even though I've only been there once because I felt so at home in there. And I know it's a boring answer because I've already been there, but there's no city that, like, like no country that is more intriguing to me right now. Last place I were, the last place I actually traveled somewhere was Norway, Oslo. But the last place I were, like, just place 
was at my mom's work. Question 39, do I have a crush? No, I don't. Um, question 40, last time I kissed someone. That was on Tuesday, I believe. Last time I was insulted was also on Tuesday by the same person. Question 42, my favorite flavor of sweet. I'm gonna go with like sweet licorice. I like salty licorice too, which is any type of licorice, and if it's sweet or salty, I don't mind. 43, what instrument do you play? Um, I've tried a lot of instruments through like the years, I guess. I play the saxophone, I've tried the violin and the piano. I just actually quit my piano lessons and I'm not very good at it, but I kind of know how to play piano, I guess, a little bit. Mm, my favorite piece of jewelry, I actually have two. Either this one right here, which is like, ugh which is this little racer that I got from my dad or it's this little like ox that I got at market once um this is probably my favorite jewelry of all time it's this like I think it's called an ox it looks like a bull kind of and it has these peace signs hanging from like the horns I really love this I don't know why I love it so much it's just it's so pretty the last sport I played. This is like a controversial one. I dance, like I'm a dancer, so I'm gonna say dance is a sport. It's not like a sport as in a competitive sport, but I mean I am gonna participate in like a dance competition uh, in not too long, so I would consider this a sport. So 46 last song I sang. So yeah, it's probably like a high school musical song. I don't know if it was like Kumunu Manaka Apua, whatever it's called, or if it was like. It was a high school musical song because I was like ha was playing the high school musical playlist because it was like really nostalgic. Favorite chat up line? I don't have one. And 48, have I ever used it? Obviously, no. Um, last time I hung out with anyone? I don't live with my parents. Like, I guess hang I, hang I hung out with my dad this morning. We went to like lunch together. And then the last question. Uh, is who should answer these questions and I'm gonna go for everyone who's watching this video because I'm not really part of a YouTube community I don't know who's gonna watch it but if you're watching this and you have a YouTube channel then I'd love to see it and I think you should do it I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you soon bye